Welcome back to the Brown Gen. In this video, we're going to cover Barachain, the hot new blockchain that everyone's talking about, and how we can earn an airdrop. But just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice. Please do your own research. And crypto is tough. Even through the video, sometimes you might need some extra support. If you do, we have a private group that's been growing. Check the links out in the description below to join the Web3 Secret Society. Just in the last few days, we've been talking about the prices of our favorite tokens. Here's one of the charts that are posted within the group, shared with all members, showing the collapse of Bitcoin. It hasn't collapsed nearly to the extent that the charts that I posted say it will, but the members in the private group knew this was coming earlier. Okay, so that being said, let's talk about Barachain. So it's only up from here. So we got to scroll up and you get to see that this is a modular EVM compatible L1 blockchain using the proof of liquidity, right? And basically what that means is they're going to align network security and liquidity by the validators. And this is very important because it they sort of have defragmented liquidity, turbocharged applications, and a highly accessible platform. And it's backed by the best. So before we get into any of the sort of details, let's just do a quick overview. So the blockchain is Barrett Chain. The time to complete this farming for this airdrop is about 10 minutes. It can be a little annoying because there's a lot of approvals that you'll have to sign off on. So if you want to use a burner wallet for this, definitely recommended. Depends. Like I would never use my main wallet to sort of interact with all of these chains. And the cost to complete, it's actually zero. It's free. Yes, there are other activities you can do. Like if you look online, people recommend buying like, I think I saw a recommendation to purchase an NFT that was like 43 ETH, which makes like no sense to me, but maybe that gives you a massive boost. For the most of us, we're going to pick the free option because this is a test net. And the chance of an airdrop is actually medium because they've actually um, secured $42 million in Series A capital, and they're valuing the blockchain at $421 million. Typically, when you see these kind of valuations, you expect an airdrop. So why are we here? Well, they announced uh, on January 11th, which was about 18 hours ago in the morning, that their public testnet went live. So as you know, we've got to do some activities to make sure that we put ourselves in the best position to earn that airdrop. I kind of find it humorous that like they got bears here and it's called bear a chain, right? Like bear a chain. Um, so the first thing I'd recommend that you always do is check this out on Galaxy. So I searched this out on Galaxy and they have um, an active campaign. Um, you can earn some points here. I still have to click this and earn those points. But basically, um, what you want to do is complete the first mission, which is visit the Barrett Chain faucet. Remember, the links to everything will be in the description below. What you do there is you bootstrap your testnet wallet. So this is an EVM compatible chain. So you have to put your OX, so your Ethereum address, whether it's on your new wallet or an older hot wallet that you use. Then once you've done that, you put it in, you hit drip tokens, and you can see here, well, I guess it's the same thing, but basically you receive the testnet tokens in a short while. Now, this really depends on how busy the chain is. If you go into their Discord, it's like a madhouse. So because this chain is somewhat blown up, the tokens that are given as part of the faucet aren't significant. 0.05 testnet bearer tokens every eight hours. You remember what I say about faucets? Constantly request them because they're your rate limiting step. And there are some activities that I'm going to show you that will require you to make multiple visits to this faucet in order to complete, to have the full airdrop farming activity. So um, if you want, you can read all about Barachain. The sort of documents are sort of linked in the description below. In fact, 
it's part of the galaxy campaign as well so after you go here and you follow bear chain on twitter and retweet their tweet which is pretty much the easy part um i've got to go in here and follow these uh individuals or these accounts on twitter i think this got updated this morning because this wasn't there yesterday when i sort of set all this up and then went to bed um so you do that the next step is to get the bear cub role in the discord server so if you go back to the bear chain link over here not here sorry if you go to the bear chain link that i showed prior you can find these links on the bottom right here so if you scroll down you get the little discord icon right here so you can click on that button join their discord and in that discord after you've verified um what it will do is in that main channel i believe it's called hibernation you've got to help other individuals doing that for a sufficient period of time will get you the bear cub role i still don't don't have it yet so if that's something you want to do the next thing as i mentioned is to visit the docs which i've shown you um it's useful to answer the quiz but just for those of you who may want the cheat sheet we'll click here and we'll go through the answers individually so go back to question one so as i said earlier this is a proof of liquidity um, consensus mechanism to earn bgt you've got to provide liquidity on dao approved protocols on bear chain which token is not native to bear chain well you should know it's uh, btc bear chain is built on one open source modular framework well it's the polaris evm and finally you get bear on the testnet faucet like we discussed so we'll go off here the next thing is drip bearer and drip bearer is basically getting the faucet to send you token so you know it's kind of two birds with one stone and now let's get into some of the activities that you can do so the first thing i want you to do is swap bearer for stg usdc on the decks so assuming you've gotten your bearer token you go to the swap you select the token so you select bearer you then select stg usdc you pick an amount remember you get 0 0.05 so maybe go 0 0.01 it'll give you uh wow this this thing has changed a lot so it'll give you 66.98 um stg you hit preview sure uh you hit swap i don't really care about price impact here only because this is our testnet wallet and testnet address um one of the things that it metamask might ask you to do when you sort of agree or you connect is to switch to the bearer chain and to add that to your metamask which is completely fine unfortunately um this this protocol is not supported by rabbit chain yet so you'll have to like sort of deactivate that if you are okay so sometimes you get an error here um it's because the server is overloaded if you're constantly getting errors if you try it two or three times just come back like a little bit later and do it it's because like everyone is trying to submit transactions and they're getting somewhat overloaded so oh here here's exactly is sort of what you see in metamask which is like allow the site to add a network there's a, some warnings because this is relatively new this is sort of why if you are more risk averse you can also sort of choose to create another wallet just to sort of add this network and then use that to claim the airdrop okay so once we've done our swap right this is sort of the swap that i did yesterday and then um once you've done that you can go back to galaxy campaign you can click this button over here so look arrow with a circle it'll give you the check mark the next thing is to mint some honey and honey is the stable coin on bear chain so what you do is you go to the other website and you know link in the description rto.honey.bearchain you go in here and you've got to put in some amount of stg usdc so 0 0.01 or whatever um and it will give you some honey and what you do is you hit mint once you hit the mint button which i'm not going to do right now because i got to approve a ton of transactions here um what it will do is it will give you honey token so it's rather quite simple and it's um let's just say these activities are very easy but they're not the only activities you want to do you come back here of course and hit check mark and by the way if you guys have any questions about any of the activities while you're doing it please post in the comments below and if you want that sort of extra guidance and support you know where you got to go so the next step after that is we want to make sure that we're doing 
everything we can on this test net. So going back to the decks, what you want to do is so we're in the swap feature. You want to click on top and go to pool and provide liquidity. So the easiest one to do is the 50 SCG USDC and Bera. You just go here, you add, and then you just basically add some of those tokens. So some SCG USDC or some Bera, or you can do single staking as well. You select whatever token you want and do that. So that's one option. Once you've done that, you're done with this DEX and sort of this is what the confirmation will look like. Then my recommendation is to go to Burps, which is their sort of leverage protocol. Keep in mind, you'll need at least 10 honey for every sort of minimum transaction as collateral, but you should do one long order. So you basically, you know, put in like 10 honey, you go long and you have like the leverage slider here. You can make it one or two. I would prefer to keep it as low leverage as possible because the goal here is not really to win massive, but the goal here is to open a trade, close it, and have enough honey from the refund that you get back plus whatever is left in your wallet to go short after so you can get that taken care of. So I hope that sort of makes sense. Um, once you've done that, you can also go into the vault and in the vault here, you can deposit some honey. And once again, this is a bit like a liquidity pool, but it's sort of just you earn some APR. And remember, whenever you're doing test net activities, put yourselves in the role of like a beta tester. That's kind of what your job is. And that's sort of what they're looking to get support on. So that's pretty much it for burps, which is their perpetual um, system. The final one is we want to do like the equivalent of Ave, which is like, you know, liquid staking. So we go to bend and in bend, what you can do is you can supply and borrow honey. So what you do is once again, honey, you can tell is the one, the token that everyone wants. It's the stable coin, as I mentioned, but you can, you know, deposit Bitcoin or Ethereum once it's wrapped. So you go here, you supply some honey, right? Once you've sort of supplied the honey, well, maybe we'll try this right now to see if there's any issues. Um, like I said, the network is very congested this morning, but it wasn't congested last night. So there we go. Transaction submitted. So once that's done, we'll see the supply pop up here and we'll be able to borrow because honey available will be greater than zero. And the idea here is we want to sort of do both because then you've, okay, so yeah, you can see here the error happened. So the uh, network is congested, but you have supplied honey, then you want to come back and borrow honey. And by borrowing honey, you've hit both sides of this protocol. So I hope that helped. Uh, once again, less than 15 minutes, a little over 10. This is very early, like literally the test net just went live. They will likely have some activities when their mainnet goes live. But remember, a lot of these protocols really reward their test net users. So that's something that you want to get in early. Once you've done all this, maybe aim to go to the faucet like, you know, once a week, maybe Maybe if you can do it daily, I go through all the faucets daily as a task list just to make sure I top everything up. But you can go in as frequently as you'd like, make a transaction on some of those platforms here and there. If you don't get back to it, so be it. But make sure you at least have some transaction volume or transaction uh, number in those protocols that I mentioned. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, remember, we have a private group that you can check out. Link in the description below the YouTube membership. With that being said, I hope you found value in this video. I hope you found value in the guide. If you did, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.